criminal prosecutions. Isn't that nice? You're guilty until proven guilty, not even guilty until proven innocent. They've gone light years down the rat hole past innocent until proven guilty. Another headline, CBS News, feds win big on citizens' rights. What a deceptive headline. It goes on to say, Attorney General John Ashcroft himself had sat down to write a legal opinion that supported President Bush's immense power to strip U.S. citizens of his constitutional rights, he probably could not have penned one more powerful and sweeping than the 54-page ruling offered Wednesday by the Fourth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals. And it says you have no rights, you can be secretly grabbed and never seen again for no reason. It actually says it. In fact, the new Patriot Act says Section 802 of the first Patriot Act isn't strong enough. Any action that endangers human life that's a violation of any federal or state law. <laughs> it's just nuts. It's crazy. The good news is my resolution, I've written a resolution for cities to pass and counties to pass countering Patriot Act 2, and uh, towns from Utah to Florida have passed the resolution. Hundreds of other cities, as big as Seattle or San Francisco, uh, have passed resolutions that they've written reaffirming the Bill of Rights and Constitution. You need to try to get it passed in your area. At least the process of trying to get it passed will educate folks about exactly what has happened. Tonight on Now, we consider the subject of our personal freedom versus the public safety. It's not a philosophical question for the more than 1,000 Muslim men who have been secretly jailed, many of them secretly deported without having been linked to terrorism. It's not just a philosophical matter for the rest of us either. Our government's claim of broad new powers to deal with terrorism puts America in a twilight zone. To those who scare peace-loving people with phantoms of lost liberty, my message is this. Your tactics only aid terrorists. Would you like to sign a petition against the USA Patriot Act? And here in the libraries, they're asking people to let them know what books you are reading. Sneak and peek uh -huh. in people's houses, uh, tap phones, tap email. These citizens in Northampton, Massachusetts, are petitioning Congress to repair the damage and repeal provisions of the Patriot Act. Other groups across the country are doing the same. If more people knew what their Congress had signed on to, I think that they would all be signing petitions. A couple things that are essential in moving forward is that we have to understand is that the information that we have been told over the predominant media is an absolute scam. Yeah. What you We go forward in love, but we go also go forward with the conviction and the knowledge that if we do not speak the truth right now and do what is right, not only our grandchildren and our children, but our fates are sealed toward one of the greatest sadnesses that we could ever think of. Each and every one of you has a choice. You can be quiet and sit on the sidelines or you can be part of the second American revolution to restore not the democracy, but the republic. Equal laws for all people. Now I want to read you a couple, just a couple of very short quotes. The first one is from Dr. Johannes Kobel, and he said this just a couple months ago. Quote, the interest behind the Bush administration, such as the CFR, the Trilateral Commission, funded by Brzezinski for David Rockefeller, and the Bilderberg Group have prepared for and are now moving to implement open world dictatorship within the next five years. This is a fact, friends. Now I'm going to give you another quote from probably the most powerful individual in the Western Hemisphere. And this human being has more power than George Bush times five. He says, quote, we are on the verge of a global transformation. All we need is the right major <coughs> crisis, and the nations will accept the new world order. That is David Rockefeller. But this is how serious this is. Friends, we are not moving toward a police state. We are already in one. We all know this. 
We are in a police state, and this is not what America is supposed to be about. All you have to do is go down Mopac. There are 46 cameras, digital cameras, on Mopac in the last six months, wherever you're going, scanning your face. Over 300 cameras in the city of Austin, constantly, and, and there's a central place where they're, they're this is insanity, friends. Three or four years ago, if you read the book 1984 by George Orwell, it was pretty far out. But today, it's passe. And friends, all of us here today, we have a choice. You know, we can take the proverbial blue pill and we can go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> or, as Morpheus says, you can take the red pill and he says, I don't know what's going to happen. You're going to go down the rabbit hole, but all I can offer you is the truth. And that's all that people such as myself and the hundreds of other patriots around the country, we're on access television, you hear us ranting and raving. But if you listen to us, there's something there. And, and the reason that we're doing, you know, we could be out playing tennis or up with our families right now, just like you could be. And this is a good-hearted group of people. This is, these are... All of you, I know so many of you, <coughs> you care about it. We have to understand that this is a political, an economic, and a cultural debate in, in a crisis right now. But there's something more going on. This is a time of spiritual choice. And unless we speak the truth right now, and unless we stay in our hearts, and look at these people right in the eyes without fear. We're all on the list. Folks, don't worry. You're all on the list right now. You know, there's no going back. The only way to protect ourselves is by going forward. Yes! the conviction and the knowledge that if we do not speak the truth right now and do what is right, not only our grandchildren and our children, but our fates are sealed toward one of the greatest sadnesses that we could ever think of. Each and every one of you has a choice. You can be quiet and sit on the sidelines, or you can be part of the second American revolution to restore not the democracy, but the republic, equal laws for all people. There's been several different definitions of terrorism. Uh, one is any action that can intimidate the government. Another one is anything that can hurt anybody. Section 802 of the first Patriot Act says any action that endangers human life that is a violation of any federal or state law. Okay? And there's pages of these new definitions. It's everything. It's anything. And we've got to go into this full throttle. We've got to resist it because they cannot stand this military-industrial complex coup. It's been a long time coming. They decided they want it all now. They can't stand if you stand against them. Your, your neighbor's a cop wearing that black ski mask? I mean, give me a break. You've got to give him or her information every day. You've got to show them how their kids are being enslaved. And when they suck their pension funds dry, which they're already doing, walk up and give them the uh, World Bank documents that Greg Powell's brought out and go, here's their actual plan to take your pension fund to cause riots, to set up military dictatorships. Joseph Sicklitz, the chief economist of the World Bank, quit over this and released these documents. We need more and more good people in and out of government at every level to blow the whistle because there's nothing like it on earth to stand up against dehumanization.